Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone and welcome to week two of the Great Canadian Landscapes Crochet Along. We are going to be crocheting our way across Nova Scotia today and I'm going to confess Nova Scotia holds a special place in my heart uh, being the place where I was born and raised. Uh, so I, I absolutely love Nova Scotia and if you haven't been there before be sure to check it out. Today for the panel for no representing Nova Scotia, I've chosen a subtly textured wavy stitch which for me sort of captured the ocean landscape uh, and that around Nova Scotia. So this is the panel that we are going to be working on today. For this project you will need your 55 millimeter crochet hook as well as a worsted weight yarn of your choosing. I'll be using a Mary Maxim Maximum Value yarn. And uh, as mentioned in the other crochet along videos, all the information for this crochet along can be found on my blog for free at richtexturescrochet.com. Uh, and uh, those links will be there for you in the video notes of this tutorial. Also, while you're here, please check out my social media accounts on Facebook and Instagram, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for joining me. So to work this cluster stitch today, I will be working a small sample for you so that you get an idea of how to work the stitch. Also, it will be helpful for you to know if you are changing the size of your panels and your overall blanket. For this stitch pattern, you will need a multiple of five stitches plus one for your turning chain uh, if you would like to change it. So you can use any multiple of five plus one for your turning chain to make this panel. Today I will be working a total of 21 chains just to give you an idea of uh, how to put this stitch together. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So you're going to make your chain if you are working it to the size of the blanket that I have uh, specified in the pattern, you will chain a total of 146 chains. Okay, so 146 chains. Then for row one, you are going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook and then in each chain all the way to the end. So single crochet in the second chain from your hook and then in each chain all the way across. At the end of row one you are going to turn your work and you're going to begin by chaining three. This chain three at the beginning of the row will always count as a double crochet stitch. Then for row two, you're going to continue as follows. You're going to chain three, and then you are going to double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. You're going to double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, you're going to turn your work and now we are going to begin by working the first row that will really bring out the texture in this stitch. So we are going to be working uh, some cluster stitches. So for the first thing you're going to do for row three is you're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then you are going to double crochet in the same stitch. So yarn over and you're going to insert your hook in that 
first stitch the same one that your chain three is coming out of. So insert your hook in that same stitch and complete a double crochet. Next, you will cluster over the next three stitches. To work your cluster stitch, you are going to work basically a series of front post double crochet stitches uh, over the next three stitches. So to do that, you're going to yarn over, you're going to insert your hook from the front to the back and around the post of the next double crochet. So I'll show you that again. I'm going to yarn over, insert your hook from the front through to the back and around the post of the double next double crochet. And then you're going to yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook, but you're not going to complete the stitch. You are then going to get again, yarn over, insert your hook from the front around the post of the double crochet, around the back and up again and you're going to complete uh, start another double crochet stitch. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So there's two posts of the cluster. The cluster will have three. So then you're going to yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next double crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now that you have three sort of legs of that cluster and you have four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through all four loops on your hook. And that is your first cluster. Next, you will place two double crochet stitches in each of the next two stitches. So two double crochet stitches in each of the next two stitches. There's one and two in the same stitch and then one and then two in the same stitch. And now you are going to repeat all the way across your row this cluster stitch and then these paired up double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat cluster double crochets all the way across. So I'll show you uh, the cluster stitch and that uh, once again. To do the cluster, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next double crochet, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. You'll do that two more times. Yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next double crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. And one more time, yarn over, insert your hook around the post of the next double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Once you have four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. Next, you will place two double crochet stitches in each of the next two stitches. Yarn over, insert your hook, complete one double crochet, and then in the same stitch, another double crochet. In the next stitch, one double crochet, and two double crochets. And so you're going to continue to repeat that cluster stitch, then the four double crochet stitches all the way across to the end of, um, of your row, actually just to the last four stitches. And then um, when you come to the last four stitches, uh, you're going to work it just slightly differently. So there's my cluster and in the next stitch two double crochets 
in the following stitch, two double crochets. And then when you come to your last four stitches, you will work one cluster stitch. And then in this final chain, you'll remember your chain three always counts as a double crochet. You are simply going to work two double crochet stitches. This is easy to remember because you know that at the beginning of your row you had two double crochet stitches. So here at the end you will also need two double crochet stitches. There you have it. For row four you will turn your work. For row four you are going to chain three and then you are simply going to work starting in the next stitch you're going to work double crochet stitches all the way across. So you will work a double crochet stitch in the top of each double crochet stitch and in the top of each cluster stitch all the way across to the end of your work. Always remember to double crochet in your in the top of your first uh, turning chain at the end of each row. That way your edges will stay nice and straight. Then after row four, after you've double crocheted in each stitch all the way across, and you can see my texture coming out there, uh, right here, you can see the texture coming through and it's a little bit of a wave. So once you finish row four, for the remainder of the pattern, you are simply going to repeat rows three and four until your work measures approximately nine inches or slightly less. Okay, so you'll remember row, row three was your turning and then you chain three and then you're going to work one double crochet in the same stitch and then you will start your cluster uh, followed by the double crochets uh, pattern. So cluster over the first three stitches. Three. And then two double crochets in each of the next two stitches. So that is your row three and then your row four is simply a row of double crochet stitches all the way across. So continue repeating those rows three and four until your work measures approximately nine inches and then you will want to um, conclude by working your single crochet edging uh, all the way around your panel. And the details, it's just a single round of single crochet stitches and the details for that can be found on the pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com or linked in the video notes. So thank you once again for joining me on this crochet along across Canada and feel free over on my Facebook group, the Rich Textures Crochet Community or on the Canadian Crocheters group on Facebook. Be sure to share your photos of your works in progress. Thank you so much. Happy crocheting. Bye.